Welcome to another episode of Blonde in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making coconut cake. Let's start by making our cake layers. Cream together one cup of butter and two cups of granulated sugar. To this, add in your four eggs and give it a good mix before adding in your vanilla. Adding whole eggs will add more flavor to the cake compared to adding only egg whites. Add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And if you'd like, you can substitute extract with vanilla sugar. Our dry ingredients consist of three cups of cake flour mixed with one and a half teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt. For some moisture, we're adding one cup of sour cream and half a cup of coconut milk. Add these ingredients in parts to achieve a silky smooth batter. When you add all of your dry ingredients at one time, you tend to overmix the cake batter. Here you can see that the batter is smooth and after adding the last bit of ingredients, we're going to add the shredded coconut and fold it in. In this recipe, we use 3 fourths of a cup sweetened shredded coconut flakes. Fold them in and your batter is done. Butter your baking pan and fit it with parchment paper. Split your batter into four 8 inch baking pans and bake for 20 to 25 minutes. The layers should come out golden brown and a toothpick inserted in the center should come out clean. Once they're baked, go ahead and remove the parchment paper and let these layers cool on a rack. Now on to the frosting. What we're making here is an overnight frosting meant to soak into the cake. It's addictive and very delicious. Mix one and a half cups room temperature butter with 16 ounces of cream cheese. To this, we add one cup of powdered sugar along with one can of sweetened condensed coconut milk. Lastly, we add two cups of sour cream. The liquid in the sour cream is what thins out the frosting and it's the reason why most southern coconut cakes sit in the fridge overnight. The layers are going to soak up a good amount of the frosting and will also leave behind thick layers of cream. In a baking pan that is high enough and wide enough to hold the layers, Add one layer at a time and top with three scoops of cream. Spread the cream on each layer with a spatula and repeat until your fourth layer of cake. Cover and set in your fridge overnight and it will be ready to frost and sprinkle with coconut flakes. Now that our coconut cake is complete, it's time to cut out a big slice and see what it looks like inside. This cake is light and sweet. It has a delicate coconut flavor and the frosting is so good that you'll want a spoonful of it on its own. 
if you do give this recipe a try, and I hope that you do, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, let us know by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Yours truly, Blonde in the Kitchen.